Good morning. We have some changes to talk about today. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, but the wind, that's going to be the big story today. We're going to see those winds start to crank up as we head toward the lunch hour and then looking at gusts of 45 miles per hour this afternoon. Skies partly cloudy as we head through the day, 58 as we head toward the 9 o'clock hour, so really mild start, 67 by lunchtime, and then no 80s for us today. We're going to top out in the mid 70s later on this afternoon. Taking a look at the satellite and radar composite, you can see we're still feeling some of the influences from that system that's mainly up in Colorado right now, but we're seeing cloud cover and even some spot showers up in the north and the northwest right now. We're dry in the metro. We'll stay dry today. Again, the wind, the big deal. We're looking at wind advisories for the east mountains up and across the northeast, the Guadalupe Mountains, though, and then out across the east plains. We're looking at high wind warnings where winds could gust to 55 miles per hour or higher. And of course, high fire danger, red flag warnings in effect across the entire state. Again, temps cooler today, but they really crank up this weekend. I'll have the details on that coming up. A school bus driver is in jail this morning. Here now is the Tuesday News Blitz. A Boleyn school bus driver has been arrested after police say that they made a disturbing discovery at his home. Investigators say they have evidence that 68-year-old William Ostrowski had child porn on his computer. A computer glitch is blamed for the overpayment of 700 New Mexico retirees. Now the State Education Retirement Board wants the money back. The glitch last summer caused the overpayment of almost $2 million. A man who often hung around Presbyterian Hospital in Albuquerque is now wanted for sexually assaulting a patient. The grim search and recovery in Joplin, Missouri could be more difficult today because of the possibility of more violent weather. Some residents near the flooded Mississippi River who've returned home are keeping their bags packed in case they're forced to evacuate again. And President Obama gets an official welcome today at Buckingham Palace. It was announced overnight that the Obamas will meet with Prince William and Princess Kate, who are just back from their honeymoon. And that's the News Blitz.